In the last decade, the water levels at Lake Sakakawea came up 50 feet, creating good habitat for both rainbow smelt and walleye. Smelt is a forage in Sakakawea, cold water forage, and that drives the entire fishery. With all the smelt in the lake, we have near record biomass of uh, rainbow smelt. The fish are growing spe spectacularly well. Uh, walleye, all the predators are doing well, but in particular the walleye. Power says this year ranks in the top five for the best walleye fishing he's seen in the last 40 years. Sakakawea so had excellent fishing, still has very good fishing going on, walleye fishing. This year has been close to spectacular at times. Uh, last year wasn't bad. And the reason being is that we've had water, and water is everything for Sakakawea. Back in the 1980s, walleye fishing on Lake Sakakawea was also good, as 1,200 whopper walleyes were harvested in one year alone. However, there is something different this year with the fisheries compared to the late 80s. We have multiple year classes. We have a lot of fish right now in that 20 to 24 inch range, but we have them all the way down to eight inches. So we have a lot of year classes coming up. Power says with the high water levels, the lake experiences a lot of natural walleye reproduction, but the game of fish will stock walleyes if the forage is there. Especially in the lower third of the lake, there, the water is colder. That's a place that we often don't see much at all for uh, natural reproduction, and we will stock there, and we have. And our plans will, will continue to stock the lake if and when needed. As long as water levels stay high on Lake Sakakawea, the future will remain bright for walleye fishing. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.